We have an awesome Swarf and Chip show lined up for you today. We are here in rugby at Romy's Open House event. We're talking CNC machining with cycle time challenges and injection moulding. Oh, welcome to this week's Swarf and Chip. So we're going to have a little tour around the Romy Open House event and we're going to start the D1000. So on the D1000, Lindsay, they're showcasing um, a complete process really and it's a collaborative process between high mesh shunk and solid cam. So starting with the shunk work holding, we've got a zero point location base plate which is accommodating a centric gripper. Um, one centric gripper is doing got one and the other which is down on the floor there is doing got two. It's just illustrating the quick change over times that can be achieved from this. Um, we're using the Hymer tooling as well and the software um, to get the best metal removal rates really. Okay, and the Swarf, why is it the two different colours, Gio? Well, we've got the like purple colour Swarf here. This is from the roofing cycle um, and the heat is being transferred into the Swarf. If you come over to the left hand side of the machine here, the, you can see that the Swarf is more of a silver colour and that's through the, the finishing process. You're not taking as deep of, of a cut. You know what, you can tell a lot by swarf as well. Like, if you're getting stringy swarf, then you're probably not cutting the part in the most optimum way, are you? Absolutely. I think that this is really showcasing metal removal rates, kind of getting the best productivity and efficiency through all of the elements, not just the machine tool, but the cutting tools, the tool holders, the work holding, and the software. Yeah, and you don't want to fill that whole machine up with swarf, do you? So we've got the Hymer, uh, the power clamp over here, which you have called heats the, the tool holders? Yes, so again people have started to embrace this technology now Lindsay, people are really looking to reduce their tooling costs but also to uh, give you longevity, the, the last thing you want to do is put bad tooling into your new machine tool so longevity of the spindle, longevity of the cutting tools, better quality of components, faster feeds and speeds. Oh and breathe, okay so let's open this door, welcome to my dressing room, can I do this? This is my dressing room, voila. And we're, in, we're going to look into the D800. Now, this is a new machine. This is Romy's new flagship free axis machine, and it's a beautiful machine. I mean, you've just opened them doors, and you can see the accessibility, nice big windows. But from a technical perspective, they've got the new Fanet control system, which is the latest Fanet control system. They've got 100 mil extra Y-axis stroke, which is huge, really, in comparison to the old D-range. The machines are made from all the same castings now, so you can get better lead times. The machines are more rigid. You get more torque. You can take deeper depth of cut. There's so many great features, new features mm. about the new Romy D800. It, it literally does look very different to the older model. It's very modern looking, isn't it? Mm. It's a, the, the look of the machine. If you were selling it just on looks, I reckon, you know, it it's, it's a 10 out of 10. Oh, 10 out of 10. Just like you, Gio. Oh, not bad. No, not me. <laughs> right, next machine. Come on. So from the mills, we're going to talk Lays. This is the GL280. Now, yeah, Romy have got some fantastic mills, but they've also got some fantastic laves um, on show here today as well, Lindsay. They've got the single spindle uh, GL280M, um, and they've also got live tooling on the turret. Um, they've got a large variety of, of laves that they offer um, and supply, and again, really good, rigid machine, really great quality, powered with the fanet control. And another nice feature that they also offer is the C. 510 over here. This is a combination lathe, so you get the best of both worlds really, Lindsay. So you can use the machine um, as a manual machine, um, great for low volume work, great for apprentices, but you can also use it in CNC mode as well, so for production work. Ah. So fantastic, versatile machine, and I actually believe they've sold this machine today, Lindsay. Oh, okay, wow. Um, are they solid machines, Geo? 
All of the machines that Romy supply are extremely solid and well built. Romy are the OEM of their own machine. In Brazil, where they're manufactured, they've got their own foundry. Um, and just as an example, the D800, I think we've mentioned it, or we're going to mention it, it weighs 10 tonne in weight. So real solid, robust machine, really good value for money. Yeah, that's what we like to hear. Now, Joe is over in the indigestion, I mean, injection moulding area. <laughs> Thanks for that, Linz. I'm actually stood behind an EN70 injection moulding machine and Romy machines actually produce one of the world's most energy efficient injection mould machines. I'm going to be speaking with Neil a bit later who heads this division up. But now over to the Cycle Time Challenge with Gio. For this Cycle Time Challenge we've got this lovely demo component here. The first operation as you can see you've got some nice deep pockets, profile. Um, and on the other side, we have some more pockets with some engraving of all the technical partners that have been involved in manufacturing this component. Now, the material is EN24T, which is very tough and hard material. The component is produced in two operations on the Romy D1000 behind me. The work holding is zero point location system with a centric gripper, Hamer tooling and solid cam software. How long do you think it takes to make this component? Now, get your guesses in below and give yourself a chance to win a goodie bag and don't go anywhere because Joe is going to be interviewing Eduardo about business in general and I'm going to be doing an in-depth review on the new D800 Romy machine, the flagship model, so don't go anywhere. So David, what brings you here today? Well, I've come to a look around, possible applications, new machines and good possibility of purchasing a machine today. So have you already been working with Romy? Yes, we've got two uh, Romney machines, the 510s, that are here at the remote vents. We've had those for about two to three years. And how are they working for you? Excellent, increased production, good, the great sustainability for price. They're, they're really good machines for them. So what are the reasons why you chose initially the Romy product? Well, that was before I uh, took over the side of the machine shop, but they're such great machines. They do a great job. I don't think there's any issues we've had them at all. Eduardo, we're halfway through the day, has it been a success? Absolutely, yeah, we are very happy with the attendance of our customers, our partners. So far we are in the half of the day, we already got two orders, so a very good start. Mm -hmm. You're quite unique here at Romy, you've got the injection mold in, obviously the metal removal side as well. Yes, correctly, yes, we, we have two, these two products that in some way complement each other, right? And this is what we are showing here today. You haven't had an open house for quite some time. Why have you gone for an open house at the moment? Yes, you know, this is our, our first uh, open house here in the facility. Uh, since it has been a successful event with our partners, it's our plan also to put in our calendar here in UK, maybe two open houses per year, and very happy. And the version 5 behind us, or behind me certainly, that, that's got to be the highlight, hasn't it? Absolutely. We have some a little bit of all the lines here, okay, then we can show the, the customers uh, about our product range. But of course the version 5, the D-Series, is one of the newest products and so far very good acceptance in the UK market. And the thing's going well in the market? Yes, absolutely. Uh, this year we started very well, still growing the sales and uh, keep moving some machines. 2019, it's an EMO year. Is there anything you can tell us about EMO? Yes, for EMO, we'll be launching the new generation of the slant bed lathe, a fantastic lathe that was just launched in Brazil and we will be bringing and showing the first time at EMO show in September. Great to see you today and thanks for the invite. Thank you very much. So, Paul, what brings you to an event like this? Uh, we're actually working with Romy as a, a systems integrator, so we, we work with them as a partner. Um, so if, if they're working and installing machines and there's some level of automation required, we'll come in and work with Romy to help the, the end customer. And what do you feel you get from visiting an event like this? Uh, from an event like this, it's always good to meet, to meet new faces and look at new innovative products that are coming out on the market. You know, generally you send marketing emails, etc but it's always good to actually meet these people in person and look at the products first hand. Okay, what brings you to this event today? Um, well, we're here today just to have a look around, look at the uh, 
ROMI machines and also from my personal point of view, um, I'm in more of the robotic side so I'm here to kind of look at end of arm tooling um, because we're the UK distributor now for the Kasai robot which is a seven axis collaborative robot. So what do you feel you learn from coming to an event, meeting people as well, but how does that help you? Personally, it's about networking, it's about um, relationship building and um, trying to um, understand new technologies and things in the industry. Centre stage here at Romy hasn't been Lindsay Vickers, you'd be surprised to hear. It's actually been the new D800. This has certainly been the flagship model here for Romy today. And would you believe it, it weighs 10 tonnes, yes, 10 tonnes. They come with the same casting now for all the group of the models in the free axis range and that gives them more uh, of a modular system which also reduces the lead time. The 10 tonne weight actually gives you more rigidity and um, it gives you more torque in regards to being able to take deeper depths of cut. Um, there's lots of technological advancements with this machine including the fanet control, the all new fanet control. The Y axis has increased by 100 millimetres and the Z axis has also been increased. Fantastic product and not only is it fantastic but it also looks great as well. Some of the new features like the large doors with the large windows so you've got great accessibility but you've got a good viewpoint of what you're actually making. Fantastic product on this new D800 machine and you should certainly come and have a look at it. Now over to Joe. So Neil, you look after the injection mould and size of Romy machines. How are things going first of all? Uh, very good. We had a cracking year last year, ended up 126% of target. So uh, we're now moving into this year. Again, sales have started off well. We're above target for year to date. Uh, but obviously the economy is difficult at the moment. So now we're having to work harder, come up with other ideas of generating sales, of which this is one doing the open house. Yeah, for sure. So talk, talk us through the machine behind us, the EM380. Yeah, so the EM380 behind us now, uh, EM stands for energy efficiency. Uh, it's the, the V5 version, which is the latest one Romy have brought out. So for energy consumption now, uh, for a 380 tonne machine, average uh, energy consumption would be about 12 kilowatts an hour, which is really good. Uh, we also have the latest controller on there, the CM20 which has been developed for this new uh, buzzword in the industry, System 4.0. So anybody now that's got a data monitoring system and they want to collect all the information can just connect straight to the machine, uh, which is free of charge. Some, some of our competition may charge extra for each signal required, but not us. So it works with any monitoring system and the customers can then control their whole production uh, remotely or uh, you know for providing the data for their suppliers and you've got many people in this marketplace that sell uh, injection molder machines that's just the start from Remy isn't it you do far more than supply machines yeah we do yes uh, as part of our um, sort of service that we offer if a customer wants uh, a new mold shop for example we can um, hold their hand and guide them, especially uh, a customer we've done recently called Easy Trim. Uh, no moulding experience at all, and we set them up with uh, overhead crane, cooling system, uh, robotics automation, uh, material handling. We, we manage the whole thing for them, so the customer can carry on with their day-to-day -day business, and we do all the hard work behind the scenes. And I know this is a 380. Where does the range start and where does it finish? Right, so the range starts from 70 tonne and we go up to 1500 tonne on the servo hybrid range uh, and Romy also do an all electric version as well. Uh, currently two models, a 75 tonne and a 300 tonne. And this is your first open house for quite some time here at the HQ in Rugby. You've got some interesting news to report. Yeah, we uh, today with the, the show being open, we, we've got an order today. So, which is really good, and uh, a potential customer, which we've just been talking about, on holding a hand for a new complete mould job. Brings us here today is to understand Romy and what they can offer in their injection mould machines. And what do you specialise in? Specialise in moulding plastics, um, injection moulding, bar moulding, all sorts of stuff, uh, mainly buckets, stuff like that, but also other technical blown moulding as well. Sepro have been proud partners of Romy for quite some time. What, what do they like to work with? 
Uh, Romeo are a very good professional company and we've built up a, a good relationship over the years. And what products do you offer? We offer a full range of robotic solutions and automation for the injection moulding industry. So we have a, an extensive range of robots from pneumatic pickers through basic servo robots into complex multi-axis robots and articulated robots. And you say you work closely, have you worked on any projects that we can talk about? Uh, yeah, we've worked on uh, a number of projects. Uh, one of the biggest was for a pharmaceutical company uh, where we did an installation of seven axial robots uh, and they were delivering parts to the end of the clamp unit and uh, onto a conveyor for operators to package. And your robots, are they easy to program? Are they energy efficient? Are they quick? Uh, yeah, every robot that we build we consider the energy consumption. There are new features coming out in the near future which will help reduce energy consumption and air consumption, which is a, a key part of the expense to the customer in the operation of the equipment. Collaborative events such as this, how important are they to you and what has it been like working alongside Romy Machine Tools? It's very important to us. I, I see that working with partners is the, is the right way to get to customers because collaboratively we can all work together. There's no conflict of interest here. Working together means that we can all provide a complete solution to the end users and a lot of people like that idea. How do you find working with Romy? Oh, it's great working with Romy. The, you know, the machines are fantastic. The way that they work with us is great. Fantastic, really. So how have you found today? Well, today's been great for us. We've met new customers. We've met new people that we've not seen before or we've not seen for a long time. The demonstrations upstairs have been brilliant. You know, the stuff that we've learned about the different cam systems has been good. We're suppliers of process cooling and temperature control systems. We supply to Romy sometimes a turnkey operation. So if they've got a customer who wants uh, a complete factory fit out, we provide the cooling systems and mold temperature control. And can you talk us through why you'd encourage someone to come to an event like this? I think as you can see, uh, the, the process working, uh, the, the information that you gain from other suppliers being here as well, participating in those partners. So you've got everything you need to see under one roof for one or even half a day. You don't have to do the full day, but as long as you pick out certain aspects that are, are important to you. A rose between two thorns at the end of the day. Um, and what a great day it's been. Do not forget to put your guesses in the comments box below. A chance for you to win the Swarf and Chips goodie bag on the Cycle Time Challenge. How's your day been? Oh, hello. Yeah, no, it's been a great day. Loads of highlights. Uh, the V5 VMC, the new machine, stunning machine. But I also like the injection moulding. Mm, Space it, I know fairly well. It, it's a nice machine. Yeah, we don't really see that much injection moulding, you know, with a, a company providing both machines. No, it's fairly unique, isn't it? Obviously, there's two or, there's two or three, but not, you know, not many. No. no, it's but energy efficient, you know, ultra productive machines. Good. Many highlights for me today, Lindsay. But um, oh, your hair. That, and my hair, but um, I think obviously the products were fantastic, but I think it's been a really collaborative event, um, and I think some of the solutions that they had on show today um, were great, you know, and, and um, it's been a really good day. Yeah, actually I'm going to close the show because I think this table might break very, very shortly, so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and as we always say, keep those spindles turning.